Welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through those fears and live an awesome, beautiful life. Everybody deserves that, and it's possible for everyone to live that. Yet, we struggle, all of us struggle on some level. Well, even if you had a beautiful, perfect life, there will be challenges. People get sick and die, uh, people lose jobs, the economy changes. There's always going to be some situation that changes your circumstance into, well, something that you may not like. But all of it's good because without these changes and challenges, we don't grow. All right, and that's not fun. So I want to talk today about, let's just say, really part of the same equation, that is procrastination and self-sabotage. Is your procrastination self-sabotage? My thoughts on that are probably yes. Why do we do that? So I looked up why people are consistently late and I could not find one real answer, one real answer to that question on the entire internet. They were all over the board. They want attention, they want to be bad and get, you know, have to apologize. They just sort of just don't want to even go there, but they push themselves. I, it was all over the board. So there really wasn't a solid answer for that. So I look at all of us and I think how many of us have a goal, something that we want to achieve in our lives, a life that we want to live in. We have it in our head. It's something in the future that we need to arrive at. Right? Just a consistently late person does. Why do so many of us not go and move forward toward that goal, implement the changes that are required to achieve that goal? My thoughts on this are that it's easier to have something exciting in the future to look forward to than to actually implement it because when you implement all of the action, when you take the action to actually go after it, there are one of a couple things that could happen. Well, of many things that could happen, but most of all, potential failure in your head, to me there's no such thing. What if it doesn't work out? What if that huge goal, I'm getting an opportunity now, isn't going to happen the way I thought? What if I go after it and I'm just not good enough? Or I risk things and everybody's disappointed at me, and then I have to explain why I did something that you know, went after my crazy dreams and they're all going to say, I told you so. That's a big part of it. The second thing is that we personally love having that thing in the future. It is an exciting thing to look at and there's going to be just a lot of effort to make it happen. And it will change our current world that even if we're not satisfied with it, is the known comfortable in some ways, e even when we're uncomfortable. At least we know it. My mom, she came from a very dysfunctional family, and she shared something with me that I'll never forget. She went and got counseling when I was a kid um, because she was a great mom, and she wanted to make sure she was stayed a great mom because she didn't want to bring in all those old habits. She was smart enough to know certain habits that she had that would sabotage are everybody's happiness because she didn't come from a family that had consistent happiness. So she went and saw a counselor and he told her something that she shared with me. He said, no matter what the behavior is, even if the person knows it's bad, they will consistently gravitate toward what is familiar. So what would happen is we had such a wonderful family situation. My dad, everybody, you know, was such a good, solid person. But my mother would start to create problems, little problems. And the reason she was doing that is because she didn't know how to grow up in a family that was just really happy. She only knew intermittent chaos. So she would start to create issues to try and create that familiarity. Does this sound like you? We all have a part of that in our lives where we recreate old habits. So when she recognized this, she was able to catch herself whenever she would create a problem. And so that was a really huge turning point for her. Now, the interesting part is she had to spend the rest of her life catching those moments and stopping them, not acting on them. So they didn't, 
ever completely go away. And at times, I know they gripped her even more. So I want you to think about that. Are you creating a pattern or chaos that stops you from reaching that goal? Because if you went to that goal, you would actually have to become a completely different person with different habits, different thinking, different actions. And some of that would be very unfamiliar, which might make you very uncomfortable. And it's easier to have that goal in the future than it is to really go after it and know what the results might be. Because God forbid, as I said before, they don't work out the way you thought they would. But here's my thoughts on that. They're going to take you to greater places because you're aspiring to greater things. And when you do that, the universe picks up on that energy of achievement bettering yourself, breaking through fears, breaking through limitations, and other things will flow to you because maybe that goal that you wanted isn't the ultimate thing for you. And the universe delivers something even better. So make sure your procrastination isn't self-sabotage. In my opinion, it usually is. It usually is. It's you putting something off because you're in that maybe habit of not achieving a lot. Maybe you still believe that you're not worthy or that you should always be broke or you just relate to struggle. That's a big one. People relate to struggle. They, you know, and they'll get money and it's gone. They're not, you know, spending it on investments or, or things that are going to better them. They just blow through it because they're used to being broke. They're used to struggling. And that's a tough thing for us to face sometimes. We have to look at ourselves and we have a lot of excuses for all of that. And there's no wrong or right, so don't ever beat yourself up for this stuff. It's part of the learning process. It's a part of the ability to, for us to recognize when we do these things and go ahead and make the change because, well, maybe you don't want to live that life of struggle anymore and you say, okay, I recognize that is a pattern. I do have self-sabotage going. Yeah, I do procrastinate because if I procrastinate, well, things are going to start to go wrong. And then I'm going to have less chance of achieving that goal, and then I'll have an excuse. There's a lot of psychology that goes on behind it that I don't really like to analyze. All I know is that patterns and habits, beliefs, are very powerful. And one of the toughest things is to release them. And self-sabotage is a major part of why people do not succeed. And then they make the excuse to tell themselves it's okay, and then they go back into another situation. They said, this one will work. And then it doesn't again, because they have to take the actions, get out of their comfort zone, push themselves to places that are a little bit scary and uncomfortable, and they're not willing to do it. And then they go back, maybe quit the opportunity or whatever it is, go back, and then look for the new goal again because it's so much easier to have that great goal out there. I know I'll find it. The next one will be it. And the next one's going to require the same kind of attention, the same kind of efforts, the same kind of persistence, the same kind of, uh, let's just say, effort in changing the old patterns and beliefs, working on that and breaking through them so that you don't go back into that old lifestyle, that old way of thinking, the old excuses, in that uncomfortable place that you don't want to be in, but yet you can't figure out how you're not getting out of it. And by the way, this pertains to very successful people who are stuck in that. I was one of them. You know, I wasn't stuck in this, you know, this, uh, you know, suffering kind of thing on a, you know, always broke. I was, I was into this whole uh, career where, you know, we were doing prestigious things and that was part of the belief system that that was where you were supposed to be. And it's tough sometimes to break out of that and admit that, you know, I just don't want to do this. And it's okay if I walk away from something that everybody else thinks is successful and I'm not loving. That's really, actually, in my opinion, it's a lot tougher to walk away from that because people think you're crazy. But I'm living a completely different life now because I did it. And I have to share something with you that may shock you when you do it. If you haven't already gone to that place of breaking through, when you do it, you'll be stunned at how fabulous you feel. No matter how much fear you feel 
up to that point when you have to make that decision to quit that job, to get out of that relationship, to move, to sell the house and do something different, to whatever it is, there's a lot of different scenarios, to change your eating habits and health habits, to do something that may appear radical to other people, when you get to that point and you actually cross that line, it's exhilarating. It's exhilarating. And then you realize, oh my gosh, it wasn't so scary after all. And then when you're there, you know there'll be challenges along the way, but now you're in the zone of life that you want to be in that's where your goals exist, where that beautiful life exists. And now everything that you do and any challenges you deal with are in that realm, not the one of old habits, suffering, and just really never changing anything to, to achieve that goal, to experience it. And you deserve it. And you can do it. And by the way, you're not alone. This is human nature. Even Bill Gates, recently I read that his wife pushed him to go and do some things that he just didn't want to do because he was comfortable in his billionaire life. And he's a real giver. He does a lot of really great charitable things. And she pushed him to work on this whole foundation that they just launched. And he admitted that, that it was easier for him to stay where he was because was, he's doing wonderful things. It's like, wh how much more do I need to do? Well, you know what? It never ends. It's never ending. Life will continue to open up for you and show you glorious new achievements, uh, joy. Uh, you know, it feels wonderful when you take that step into that place and when you have a chance to keep going, it never ends. And it's, it's a good thing because we're here to expand. So, catch yourself. Is that procrastination, self-sabotage? Could be. Could be. Are you always late? It's so much more fun to have it in the future. Do you want to live it? Or are you going to die having that goal in your future and now it's not a future that you have anymore to experience? Don't wait. And it's never too late. There's no age barrier to those goals, to those dreams. I'm sending you abundance, prosperity, joy, health, wealth, and peace. Namaste.